Have you ever done a spatial decomposition having to wait for the horizon stack to triplicate to then find out that looks something like this in the RGB blending viewer? That no matter what you do with the colors and the exaggeration and amplitude ranges, you can just not get a true RGB. Hi, my name is Alberto Fernandez and I'm part of the LE's team in Houston and today I'll show you why you're getting a spectral decomposition RGB blending view that looks like this and how to fix it. I will open the spectral decomposition tool in the volume module and we'll tile the windows vertically. Using the cross navigation, I'll go at exactly where my channel is and on this section here, I can see that that channel corresponds to that anomaly on the spectrogram. We're looking at the spectral decomposition of the trace that I see in this section using the short time Fourier transform where the only parameter that I have to change is the window size. So the first thing that I'll show you is that if I reduce this window size up to three samples, I've gained resolution in time, I can really resolve the trough and peak of the channel, but I've lost resolution in frequency. All the energy is spread horizontally in the frequency domain. If I select frequencies on the frequency domain, what you'll see is that most of them are not really contributing on any particular manner on each ISO frequencies. Once I've selected three frequencies on my spectrogram, I can then click on the send to RGB viewer. This will open up a seismic section, a vertical inline section. Using the cross navigation mouse mode, I can click and drag and I can find the same spot that I'm looking at. We can see the channel. We see that each frequency contribution is basically the same. Uh, the RGB blending looks grayish, a little bit bluish, and no matter the combination of colors that I try, I will not get a true RGB blend. So what I'll show you is that by keeping the frequencies the same and just increasing the window size, I'm start getting a better resolution in the frequency domain. What I will probably need to do is I will need to refine the selection of frequencies and my RGB blending is starting to look much better where I have better combination of each individual frequency. However, if I increase the window size too large, you'll still start to notice how I'm spreading the energy vertically. That means that I'm losing resolution in time, I'm gaining resolution in frequency. That's always the question that we have to make or the decision that we have to make in the short time for the transform is how to choose the optimal window size to gain the best possible combination of resolution in time and in frequency. Now, what I've done is I've selected my frequencies. I can save them as an on-the-fly attributes. I can have multiple versions by selecting different windows, different frequencies, and find the optimal combination later. Because what I can do is I can save multiple versions of the attribute. I'll just close this window. And what I'll do is I will duplicate my horizon stack where I found my channel with all these attributes. You don't have to change the filter, you just want to have the instantaneous attribute extraction through each ISO frequency volume. What you can do is you can select multiple tabs, as many as you like, and extract those frequencies through the horizon stack. When you fill up the volumes, you give a name, 
if you click run this will take some time because it will duplicate as many tab as you have your horizon stack but when it's done you can then drag and drop them in the blending viewers and compare I've done this already I've created three different scenarios with the same frequencies for my horizon stack what I'll do is I will make a little bit more space just want to look at the RGB blending viewer and I will synchronize my horizon stack windows so I can quickly go to the channel on the section here and on the right hand side what we have is the case where I've used a window size that was too small in the center view I have an optimized window for my spectral decomposition and on the one to the right where I lose resolution of my channel I've used a window that it was too large so I spread the energy of the channel so far that actually that channel is not showing on this particular strata slice but the one below so that is wrong and that is why we want to find the most optimal window size to extract my frequencies correctly thank you very much for your attention please let us know if you have any questions comments or suggestions bye bye